no rain. There's just normally during most droughts you'll get little storms. You know, four or five mil, something like that that'll keep the bush going. Sheep have got something to chew on. Uh, in the last two years we've had two storms and absolutely nothing in between. The tap has just been turned off and yeah, the land is suffering. Well, we heard through a neighbour about this um, program, ecosystem management and understanding. We began by having a workshop um, on one of the local properties and that was, I think that was a really great idea. They came out for the workshop and we were able to contribute to the, the program by you know, drawing on you know, all of the things that we needed to do, but that also gave us a bigger picture of, of what the program was about and what would be expected and I think that that was important to begin with. We just didn't go out there and start working. And the system that we're using is we're putting up check banks to spread the water around and then plough or ripping the ground with rippers behind the grader which is so that we don't have the fast flowing water so hopefully it'll soak in, uh, create more wetlands, grow more grasses and help provide plenty of fodder for the next drought. It's a dual outcome, we'll be um, environmentally, we'll be healthy, we'll be more productive um, in, within our family, within the business and it's, um, it's a win-win situation. And we would um, like to say thank you very much to local land services for the effort, the work and the time they've put into guiding us through this program. Once it rains, um, it's going to be fantastic. We'll return all our little floodplains to its former glory. We'll have all our darling pea back again. And yeah, we'll, um, we'll be able to hang in there a hell of a lot longer than we normally do when we get our dry times.